A cold chill sweeps through Mythwind, bringing about autumn. Will our lovable farmer Todd ever find a man or a golem or money or a man or a golem with money? Because that would be preferable. Hello and welcome back to episode 3 of our Mythwind playthrough. My name is Jason, I'm so glad you're here. If this is your first time joining us, two things you should know. Feel free to like, subscribe, press buttons on the screen, and hope for the best. Also, this is episode 3. You are more than welcome to hang out and watch, but if you want to see what happened before this, you can always pop back to episode 1 and 2, and then join us here. Do whatever makes you feel right in your heart. So far in our journey, we've done a great job of building up our town. We've got some buildings. Todd the farmer has been very unfortunate, both in love and in his career. Pretty much he's failing across the board. He has a farm, allegedly. Uh, he has a cow, which by the way, shout out to HP Love and Mama 631 who let me know in the comments that their son requested that our cow be named Sally. So henceforth and heretofore, our cow is named Sally. Now in summer we introduced Veronica the crafter and I'm sure she's still out there doing her thing, but I thought it'd be fun to introduce you to another character in Mythwind. So today we will also be joined by Ruby the innkeeper. Honestly, of all the classes, the farmer and the innkeeper were probably the ones I was the most interested in. I was gonna save the innkeeper until winter, but then I was like, eh, what the heck, let's open an inn early. Now the innkeeper's whole situation is she's got an inn to run. She's gonna have some guests to deal with. She's gonna wanna make them happy. She's gonna try and build things. On her board already, we've got our reputation up here. Uh, and then we, this basically is our inn. So we've already got one door. Huh? People can get in and out. That is a, a good thing. We've got a table and we've got a window so you can look out longingly. Oh, Todd might sit by the window and look at the golems with a longing look in his eye. All right, I'm getting ahead of myself, getting ahead of myself. I got to get a little excited there. So jumping into our fall season, first thing I'm going to do is I just want to take a look here at our uh, goal for this season. So our goal is by the end of the season, food must be at two or higher. Currently, food is at three. So as long as we don't have a food situation, which... <laughs> Lord knows we I, my guess if you've been here you know that when we go on adventures especially with Todd not name and names but name and names uh things tend to go wrong my guess is Todd will go on an adventure and lose all of our food uh and all of his self respect uh those uh, separately the two different things will happen to cause those two things to happen i'm just predicting that now ruby is going to be working hard at her inn so i feel like she's going to be doing good things for us without further ado let's jump into autumn and see what happens first thing we'll do is check the weather and it looks like today is in fact a rainy day we're starting off with a rainy autumn day uh now because of that their card we are going to progress our chapel and our chapel is actually going to fully finish which is awesome so we get we actually get oh i'm sorry food was actually only at one so i'm glad that i we got this because now food is at two goodness that would have been embarrassing we also get another um uh, sprite die. So that's exciting. And now we have a chapel. So the chapel at the end of the season actually gives us one culture, apparently. So let's just put our chapel right over here. We have a lot of things we could build at some point. We've got a bakery, a post office, a monument, bank. Bank is probably important. An apothecary, which would replace the general store. That's kind of fun. The apothecary takes a lot to build, though, so don't hold your breath. Uh, some stables. We could we could upgrade the chapel to a church. We could, uh, oh, we don't have an inn yet, but we could build an inn, which is weird because we have an inn, but then we could also have an inn. What? <laughs> would they be competing inns? I certainly hope so. Uh, so, oh, a lumber yard, a lumber mill, which would be an upgrade to our lumber yard. That might not be so bad, and we can almost build that. Uh, and that does some fun things for us at the end of the season as well. So, okay, let's, uh, let's see, let's see what happens. Now, at the beginning of every morning, we're going to be welcoming guests to the inn, and this sort of gives us an idea of, of people that we're going to have to satisfy at the end of the day to make them happy in order for the inn to make money. Now, we are going to take our reputation, which is six, and we're going to add one to that because it's a rainy day. So we're actually going to draw seven guests Woof. Okay, so one of the guests is Todd. <laughs> Look at Todd. He just wants a table and some food. Um, food. Uh, I might have. I might have an answer for the food situation though. Okay, so we might. We might be okay there. I. Where can I put this? Let's put that there. All right. So that's three so far. Uh, there's four, five, six. And seven. Okay, so I feel like just just looking at that, I'm gonna need a kitchen, uh, which is one of the things I can do is I can build a kitchen. But how expensive is a kitchen? It's twelve dollars. 
That's expensive. That's expensive is what that is. Now, as for Todd, he doesn't get to do anything special this morning because rain, rain doesn't do anything for him in autumn. Now we're going to jump to our town actions. Um, I really think maybe what I need are some workers uh, to help me accomplish some things in in the inn, possibly. Um, but I also feel like, I don't even know. I don't even know what Todd's life is all about anymore. Todd, Todd, what are you even doing with your life? I feel like we should probably do some farming. Oh, today would be a good day for us to... Uh, do some uh, some um, tending because it would help our, our stuff grow. And I think we can make that happen. So let's see how we do that. For Todd, I want to make sure that he has sprites at his disposal. And uh, for her, I, I'm just not sure. I feel like there's no way for me to do all the things I want to do with her on her turn. Um, so I'm going to have to like figure that out. I'm already a little overwhelmed by the inn. The inn is... <laughs> We just started, and I'm already like, what do I do at the inn? Um, I feel like maybe giving her a couple character actions might be a thing, but I feel like maybe she needs workers. I just feel like she needs so many things in her life. Okay, wait, I think I know what I'm going to do with her. So Ruby is actually going to hire some workers. First day out, let's, let's get some workers hired, because I think I actually uh, know what I'm going to do with her. So she's going to spend two gold, and she's just going to buy these sprite workers, and we're going to sit them up here. So that's her day. Now, Todd, Todd does not have a lot of money, as per usual. When has Todd ever had a lot of money? And I think what we, because I'm going to definitely tend with Todd today, and we're going to get to tend twice. Um, and I think it would be really great if maybe Todd clears some land. Let's, all right, so Todd's gonna go here. We're gonna clear some land. I don't know why. I'm just hoping that something good will come of that. So we'll spend five gold to clear some land. We're gonna need it. Um, I'm gonna, we've been going in order, but let's try, let's go in opposite. Let's go the opposite direction. Oh, we got some food. That's great. We need all the food we can get this round. So you know what? We'll take that. That's wonderful. Okay, perfect. So we got that. Now we get to go into the character individual action. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and do Todd first because I feel like he'll, he's as easy. So I want to tend, which means that I'm going to turn this over. But then because it is raining, I also get to tend another thing um, as well because of my skill. So now we have some stuff that we could potentially sell on our next turn. That's a great start for Todd. I feel good about that. So what I want to do at the inn is I want to first, I'm going to um, build something. I'm going to improve the inn. Uh, and what I'm going to improve it with is one of these, um, not a door, I want a bar. I'm going to add a bar to the inn. So I'm going to place the bar in the inn and I'm going to pay the cost. So the, this bar costs $8. So we're going to pay $8. Congratulations, Ruby. You are broke. <laughs> Welcome to Mythwind. You have no money. That's what they should put on the box. Welcome to Mythwind. You have no money. Okay, so now we have a bar. Now I'm going to use our workers, and we're going to do the serve action. Now, the serve action uh, is kind of exciting because it lets me take, we have these gossip cards, and they can be used for various things. Uh, they can be used to add to the adventure deck to give us some bonuses in the future, or... Um, they can be used so that I have these like amenities in my shop, in my inn, uh, just for this day. Either way, I'm going to be, I'm going to be in trouble. Uh, I'm realizing now. So I'm going to go with this one, uh, that has the chef hat, has the kitchen. Uh, and that is going to be my, um, that's going to be what I have for the day. So, uh, and now Ruby is going to host guests. It's the evening. And so she is now going to be hosting guests. The way this works is each guest actually has a, a couple things that they're looking for. So for example, this sprite is hoping to find a table and they want to have a stage uh, somewhere in the, in the inn because they want to watch some performances. We do not have a stage, so that sprite will not be happy. Uh, you'll also notice on some of these, they have a little red dot and that means that if they don't get served at the inn um, during that phase, they're going to have complaints. It means they're, this is a little Karen sprite, okay? So that's a problem. <laughs> But it's okay. It's it's Ruby's first day. We just opened. There are bound to be some problems, okay? So um, this sprite need, wants a kitchen and a window and will have a complaint. So I'm going to sit him right by the window like so. Um, and there's a and we have a kitchen because of this card, okay? So um, we, we technically have a kitchen for the day. Like we have a roaming, someone stopped by and decided to cook. Maybe there's like a food truck outside. I don't know. <laughs> 
I don't know what the what's happening. Um, now this one we can't do. This one we cannot do. Uh, this little guy wants to sit at the bar, so he can just go there and have a good time. Uh, and then this guy wants to sit by the door, and he will have a complaint if he doesn't. I fear we're not going to be able to take care of Todd. Oh, actually, no, we can take care of Todd because we can't take care of this one here. All Todd wants is a kitchen and a table. So Todd is going to end his day at the inn by sitting at this table just as happy as can be. Oh, Todd, welcome to the inn. You found your safe place. Okay, so now that everybody is seated, we take the level of each one of these and we gain a coin for each of them. So we're going to gain one, two, three, four coins. Uh, so we got a little money back. Not a lot. Uh, now we have to resolve complaints. So of our guests that couldn't sit down, only one of them has a complaint, and I'm going to have to pay one coin for that complaint to the supply. So we only have $3. We made $3 on our first night opening at this inn. By the way, we need a name for the inn. So if you guys want to throw in some ideas for inn names, nothing ridiculous, all right? Ruby is a fine, upstanding member of the Mythwin community, and this is a this is a nice establishment, all right? A nice establishment. Not like some of the places y'all are going at night. I know. I hear things. All right, with all of that done, all of these all of these guests are going to go back into the draw bag, all right? So right back in here, now that we're done with that, uh, our workers are going to go back up here, and our card that we used here is going to get shuffled back into the gossip deck, and that's the end of our first day of fall. So let's head into day two. All right, so our weather today is cloudy. Now, uh, we don't have any buildings to upgrade, unfortunately. We probably should get a building going Um uh, we'll, we'll have to find something we can actually afford. Uh, Cloudy is quite good for Todd because it means right now he gets a free sell action. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sell these strawberries um, and that's going to give us $4. So that's done. And now we head into the day. But of course, we have to welcome our guests first. So we're going to see which guests we're going to have tonight. Now, because it's cloudy, we're only going to draw six guests today. That's fine. We could barely handle... We could barely handle the seven we had yesterday, so less is probably for the best. <laughs> so we'll put our guests that we're going to have for the day. A lot of sprites. Sprites really seem to like this inn. There must be some... Uh, somebody's, somebody's talking over in, in the sprite town about, about our inn. That's probably good. Marketing. Maybe there's like a sprite Yelp. Sprelp. On Sprelp, you can leave a review for the inn. Now, there's going to at least be one complaint, all right? There's going to at least be one complaint today, and that's just how it's going to be, because I do not have the funds. $12 for a kitchen? Oh my gosh, the economy in Mythwind is... It's rough. So the two things I think I want to build the most are going to be the lumber yard and the inn, but the inn is quite expensive. Um, I, I mean, I could do it, but it would be... Oof. We'd have to make sure we got more food, um, but we could do it. I mean, the inn is kind of cool because you can go there and you can pay two to upgrade all of these to their max, all the workers to their max, which is really neat. Um, and so that's kind of cool. And I like the idea of building the inn because a lot of things open when you build the inn. So we could try for the inn or we could just do the lumber yard, the lumber mill, uh, which lets you downgrade one of your workers that you have and pay for gold to get a production. And then at the end of the, um, at the end of the season, we also earn some income from the lumber mill. That's kind of cool. I just feel like we need to start building something. I feel like because we have that food requirement, I think maybe the safe bet is to do the mill. I'm going to send Todd to do the mill. Maybe we have Ruby go on her first adventure, right? Like, she just got here. I want her to see the sights a little bit. I mean, there's probably better things she could do for, like, what needs to happen over here, for sure. But we don't have a lot of money. <laughs> you know, maybe we just maybe we just hope for the best. Okay, maybe maybe all we could do right now is hope for the best. So Todd is going to... Let's have him build the, build the lumber mill. And the lumber mill is cool because it actually will just overtake the lumber yard. I just don't want to waste these upgrades. And I feel like we've already wasted two of them. Well, we wasted one of them. Um, I don't like that. So let's move down our income by two and our production by one in order to build the lumber mill, the yum, lumber, blur, 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 in order to build the lumber, blur, blur, um, and this is going to go on slot three, so we're going to put that right there, so that's Todd, he, he built something, he feels very good about that, by the way, Todd, it's rare that Todd does anything to be proud of, um, so we're excited when it happens, and then we have Ruby, is going to go on her adventure. So let's draw, you know what, I didn't shuffle the adventure cards, so let's just give them a quick shuffle, just just for fun, right? Let's give, let's give those good old adventures a little shuffle, and then we'll just take the top one. All right. 
All right, this is called Quarreling Workers. Just outside of town, you find two workers having a disagreement over three chickens. This sounds like a math problem. <laughs> Both claim they belong to them. I can give all the chickens to the worker you suspect is telling the truth, or I can give each one of them a chicken and keep one for yourself. <laughs> like, I hear you're arguing. Let me... <laughs> So Ruby goes out and she hears there's an argument and she says, whoa, whoa, boys, what's the problem? They're like, well, I own these three chickens. And the other guy's like, I own these three chickens. She's like, let me tell you what's most, what, let me tell you who owns at least one of these chickens is me. <laughs> I, I love that option so much <laughs> because it's so, I just love that she walked it. She gaslit them into thinking <laughs> that she owned one of the chickens. I mean, absolutely, that's what we're doing. Uh, neither suspected this outcome. Why would they? It's ridiculous. They're not happy, but not as angry as they might have been. <laughs> absolutely nothing good came of doing that, but I think it's hilarious, so it's fine. We had to downgrade both of our, both of our human workers in the tower. <laughs> I mean, that was the most selfish thing we could have done, but I just love that we did it. Oh my god, Ruby. Well, now we have a chicken. I mean, you won't be able to see it on the board, but we, we have a chicken. We just stole a chicken. <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. Okay, so back here at home, uh, because it's cloudy, um, I... What, 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 what do we do over here? Oh, we did a human action. That's unfortunate. Um, it's not the worst. I mean, I can sell... Uh, I can sell this and get three gold which I'll take, because then maybe on the next round I can start planting some stuff. Um, yeah, I think that's, I think that's all, I think that's all Todd's a doing today. Um, but we got some money, so listen, Todd, Todd needs all the money he can get. Now over here, I think the action I'm going to do is I'm going to do that, that, um, serve action again. Actually, I don't know if the serve action is all that great. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I was supposed to go up by one renown last turn, and I totally forgot to do that. Um, so... I just did that because I, I forgot to do it. I'll show you why that should have happened. I did it in my head and I forgot to record it. I'll explain in a second. Um, so if I do, I could do this one for sure. I could do this one for sure. I could not do either of these. And then I would be able to do one more if I did this serve action. I think maybe there's, I mean, I think maybe there's a solution here. So, oh, but she has to do one of the people actions. I just remembered. So I guess I will have her, um, I will have her do the serve action, uh, and she's going to use this card here so that she has uh, a stage for the night. Uh, I'm going to have the sprites do this action up here, which, which is the pamper action. Now, the pamper action is kind of cool because it lets me take someone that I wouldn't normally be able to meet their requirements, and I can place them at any furniture uh, the opposite direction and just get one coin for them. And what's neat about it, too, is if there's someone that would have a complaint, this will make it so they can't complain because they got to sit, maybe not where they wanted to, but they got to sit. So we're going to have this person, uh, and we're going to have them actually sit by the, um, the tape. They're going to sit at the table, um, and we're going to get one point for one coin for them. Okay. So we did that there. And then now that we've got all of our actions done, we're going to seat people. So we do have a stage just for this turn. So we're going to put this here. Um, oh, uh, this this sprite is going to sit by the window. Uh, this sprite here is going to sit at the bar. It's the same one from last night. He keeps coming back. He might have a problem. And then this sprite is going to sit by the door. And that just leaves us with two, and neither of them are complainers, which is great. So we already got a coin for this one. And so we're going to get one, two, three more coins for those guys. And now here's what I didn't show you last time. So if the amount of sprites you have out here and the amount of sprites that you have over here, if this is more than this, you go up one in your reputation. Uh, so that shows that we're getting we're getting better. We're we're people people are liking the end. They're enjoying their time here. All right. So our workers are going to go back to here, and then all of these guys are going to come back to the bag for our next round. All right. Let's see what the weather looks like today. All right. Okay. See, it's sunny. Uh, so I'm glad that I did this because now we can move up our lumber mill. Um, so that's going to go over here and we should buy, we should check. It doesn't look like we've triggered any special events just yet. All right. So first and foremost, it's sunny out, which doesn't do anything for Todd. 
Uh, oh, I, people didn't even come home last night. Ruby just let the inn run itself. Oh, the Sprite, this one Sprite ran the inn. That Sprite is exhausted. I forgot to put these back in back. All right, so because today is sunny, uh, we're actually only going to draw five... Um, five people for this evening, which is fine because we're having, we're struggling to accommodate everybody. So do I have enough to buy anything yet? I don't. Oh my gosh. There's Todd. Todd's coming back. Okay. So the great news is nobody that's coming today is going to have any complaints. Uh, so we love that for them. <laughs> Uh, all right, so let's send some people out on the town. Ruby just went on an adventure yesterday. She's starting to get some money. I feel like maybe what we want to do is start to hi maybe hire another worker. Oh, but these workers kind of stink. I don't know. I feel like maybe, I kind of feel like sending her on another adventure. Uh, because at this point, especially since I don't have anybody over here that needs to do anything crazy, um, I feel like maybe the, maybe an adventure's worth doing today. I mean, like, no matter what we do, we're not gonna be able to seat most of these people because I don't have a kitchen yet and I can't afford one. I don't really don't want to spend money. So I feel like, I feel like I'm gonna just send her on another adventure. Why not? Todd, what are you doing, my friend? I feel like, I mean, Todd has a little bit of money to his name. I'd like to potentially be able to maybe, uh, well, I would like to be able to plant today, I think. I think today is a good planting day. Why didn't I plant yesterday when I could have planted two things? What was, what was, what was the thought process there? I just completely missed that. Oh my goodness. Todd, Todd, Todd. Your life, Todd, is, this is your life. Let's go here and let's just then hire, uh, let's hire a worker for two. Let's hire some sprites. Okay, so then we have some sprites. Uh, so let's do our adventure. I also just think adventures are fun, right? Adventures are just a good, a good old time. Here is Ruby's second adventure. On the first day, she got a chicken. Let's see what she'll get today. This is called a meow from above. I really hope we get a cat. Okay. A sudden pitiful cry from above startles you on your walk. Peering into the branches, you spy what looks like a little calico who's gotten herself into trouble. She's too high and doesn't know how to get down. The cat has drawn the attention of a small crowd of wood golems who look on with trepidation. What should we do? They ask. So you can enlist the wood golem's aid. They are small, but surely they know how to scale a tree or you can climb the tree and rescue the cat yourself. I mean, I feel like I feel like I should enlist their help. I feel like I should enlist the wood golem's help. Um, they're here. They're not mean. We we know the wood golems. We're friends with them. Todd is practically dating one of them. So, I mean, it's like a situation ship. It's not. They're not dating. They don't. They don't want to call it. They don't want to put a label on it or anything. But you know. Okay. So I'm gonna enlist the wood golems' help. Uh, they are small, but surely they know how to scale a tree. Okay. So if it is raining. It's not, thank God. I would have had to subtract from the, from the roll. Uh, so I roll this, and if any of the results are equal to three, you've rescued the cat. <gasps> yes, we rescued the cat! I only had one die, so that's pretty amazing. Um, if successful, we also gain, uh, we gain a culture. Oh my God! We've got a chicken, we've got a cat, we are having the best day. Man, Ruby is just collecting animals left and right. I love that for her. Her inn is going to be the place, because you get to go there, you get to hang out with a chicken and a cat. How exciting is that? Okay, great job, Ruby. A+. plus. Um, so, now we're going to go over here and do our thing. So, I'm going to have Todd do some planting. Uh, we're going to first plant... Let's plant this... What do we need to like do our next thing? This would require potatoes and strawberries. I don't have any strawberries out here just yet. So let's do potatoes for now. I'll pay one to plant these uh, and we'll plant them like here. I, I, oh, maybe here. Let's plant them here like that. And then I wanna also plant something else maybe. Uh, let's plant these for free with my workers. We've also got some beans a growing next to Sally. Sally's going to hang out with our beans and our potatoes. That's exciting for her. Uh, and then over here, we are going to start working on what we want to do over here. So we have a sprite action that we can do. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pamper. So I'm going to put someone that normally we wouldn't be able to do anything with uh, out here just so we can get the money uh, from them. <laughs> You know, uh, let's, oh, Todd, please, Todd, we want you to hang out with us here. So you can, really, oh, he doesn't, we don't have a kitchen. So Todd is just going to sit there with no food and just stare angrily, <laughs> just like, like Ron Swanson, just sitting there with no food. We're like, we have a table for you. And he's like, and I'd like to eat. And we're like, we have a table for you. <laughs> so we get one coin for doing that. Um, and then for my action here, 
uh, maybe I'll do that with another one. I mean, maybe I'll, maybe I'll do the pamper action again just to get another, just to get with this sprite at the bar, just to get some more, some more money, get another coin. I love that for me. Um, okay, so that's all of that. And then this worker is going to head back to the tower. So we'll do that. And uh, then we're going to host our guests. So the only two that we can, the, we can only host one because uh, everybody else required all kinds of things. Uh, and this little sprite is actually the only one that was going to have a complaint, which is great. So he's going to sit by the window. Uh, so that's perfect. So we get one more coin for him. We look, so we actually have enough here to increase our renown again. We're actually into the, the level two renown now, which is very cool, uh, which means we'll be bringing out more people, which also means we might be in more trouble. Okay, so let's return all of these fine folks to the bag for so we can get ready for our next day. All right, weather today, it is in fact raining. I'm gonna turn these this way so it's a little bit easier to see. We're gonna get an event today, which is exciting. I don't think I shuffled these either last time we played, so let's do that. And then we'll pull this one off the top. Stony support. The town continues its development, with several projects taking place. Almost every development draws the attention of the rock golems. Uh, that's because a lot of the developments are being done by Todd, and the rock golems can't help. As they walk by, they're always like whis whistling, catcalling. Todd is very popular with golems, okay? He was in Gollum Monthly last month um, with his... His shirt wasn't off, but he'd taken his, his suspenders and one was drooped over his shoulder you know, in, in a like, in a revealing way. And the golems have been into him ever since, okay? I have no idea where I have this card. <laughs> Hold on. Draws the attention of the rock columns, who stand to the side commenting and instructing. Cat calling. Uh, Mick Taller, Mick Door, more door. <laughs> Paint, roof, ello, and another chin me. <laughs> Oh God! I hope I I hope that every once in a while that you all find me as entertaining as I find me, because <laughs> that would be great. It doesn't seem like they're helping much, but despite that, the work goes faster and the workers enjoy the camaraderie. Uh, if there are, uh, we get to go up on one of our buildings, so our lumber mill goes up by one, and uh, that is our event for the day. Todd went out there and was building away, and the rock golems came over like, "Woo! Swing that hammer, Daddy!" <laughs> I'm so sorry. Where are we? What's happening? I forgot to refill this last night. Jesus. <laughs> All right. It is morning. It is raining. If I wanted to, Todd could potentially uh, tend twice today. That would be exciting. Let's see who is coming to the end today. So it's raining. So we will minus one. But because our renown is now level two, we get to draw seven people. Holy bananas. That is potential for a lot of complaining. That is a lot of potential Karens. Karen sprites. Sprarens? What what should we call Karen sprites? We need a name for them. How many have I drawn so far? Five, six, seven. Todd is back. Todd is not leaving until he gets some food. Right now. He works hard for that money. Where are we? What's going on? I kind of want to send Todd on an adventure. I mean, it's not the it's not the best choice because I really, really want him to be able to uh to tend today, but I do have a sprite. Well, I really want him to be able to tend today. Uh, Todd hasn't gotten an adventure yet this this year though, so I think I'm gonna. I don't, where are we going? <laughs> Let's send Todd on an adventure. Maybe he'll meet that rock golem finally. Uh, maybe they'll finally like have a rendezvous in the woods. Uh, and Ruby, what are you doing today? I feel like you should hire some sprites. Actually, you're gonna go here. You're gonna hire some sprites. Let's hire you. Let's. Oh gosh, but you almost. Oh, but you have enough money to make something. You have enough money to make something, Ruby. You could make something of yourself. Uh, but sprites are helpful. Ooh, and then maybe we build something tomorrow. Okay, so let's hire, let's just hire these, these sprites for today. Todd, my friend, you are off on an adventure. Oh, God. You know what? I just remembered Todd's adventures are always, um, Todd's adventures are always bad. <laughs> we have not had a good one yet. I'm concerned. This is called... A private spot. <laughs> oh my god, is it happening? Are we meeting the golem in the private spot? <sighs> Everybody relax. Chunk, the rock golem. <laughs> 
this game is not supposed to be a BL. It's not. And yet, here we are. Here we are. This this is your fault. You encourage this. Chunk the Rock Golem waves hello. One see pretty spot is my favorite spot. Good for res and think. <laughs> We're going on a date with a rock dog golem. A rock golem. It's so beautiful. He's gonna show us his pretty, his pretty private spot. No, wait. <laughs> I need, I need an adult. Um, he leads you to a vibrant cave, cool with the misty spray from the river. The air invigorates you, and the walls fairly shine with veins of gold. He leans in, cradling your neck and- Oh no, sorry, I added that last part. I just, don't worry about that. I just, that was on me. So I can either bring in some villagers in, uh, in order to mine the gold, to commit them to- uh, I can use workers to commit them to mining, or I can tell no one of this place. This is me! First of all, this is Todd and Chunk's spot. This is Chod and Ch- Chod. <laughs> I just gave them a couple name. Chod. That's awful. This is Todd and Chunk's special place. I'm not bringing in workers to mine. Are you kidding me? Absolutely not. This place is our place. Chunk appreciates your discretion and welcomes you back anytime. It's hard not to love it here. It is a wonderful place to reflect and relax. You know what? We gained some culture. <laughs> yeah, I bet we did. I bet we gained some culture. <sighs> Wow, that was, I mean, that was, that was the most romantic thing that has ever happened to both I and Todd, uh, collectively. Oh, wow. I feel like I might be blushing. Okay, let's, let's, let's recenter. Let's return to calm and focus. Okay, great. Let's, let's come home. Let's do some work. So, Todd, we're gonna, it's raining. We're gonna water. Oh, and it was raining. It was so romantic. Oh my gosh. Todd is so in love with Chunk. I mean, we're not gonna use the L word just yet. But, like, things have gone from a situationship to, like, the talking phase. I, I believe the young, the young folk call it the talking phase. Or is that the same thing as a situationship? I have no idea. Todd is going to tend. So he's going to tend these. And he's going to tend these. Uh, and then uh, I might have our... I don't know that I want... Do I want to sell stuff? I almost do. I almost want to sell stuff and make more money, because uh, then eventually I could buy something maybe that would be kind of cool. And if I tend, um, I could, I could, I could actually sell both because of this. Uh, because Sally is doing is doing such an excellent job. Let's just tend. I know there's other stuff I need to buy, but whatever. <laughs> Todd needs to earn some money, all right? Because Todd is going to have to start taking this rock golem on dates and. Rock golem dates are expensive. I don't know if you know this, but in I know because I as I don't I've dated several rock golems and those dates get pricey. So we're gonna sell both of these um, for eight, uh, which is great. This is this is a lot of money, Todd. Todd is coming into love and Todd is coming into wealth. Both things. Very excited for Todd. Now over here, I think we're probably gonna be doing the pampering action <laughs> quite a bit this round. But the only places we can put people that wouldn't be a problem would be at the table. And luckily, luckily, we actually only have one person who would complain, and they need to go at a table. So I'm going to put them there at the table and earn a gold. Uh, I only have two, four, I only have seven. I would love to build something else, but I don't think I, I don't think we're quite there yet. I think the next thing I want to build is probably the kitchen, and that's 12, and the stage is also 12. So I think that's that's the direction we're going in. Let's, uh, oh, we have our workers, though. I mean, we could, we can't pamper anybody else because these people all need to sit somewhere. Yeah, I might just not use the sprites this round. I'm just going to let them chill for a second. So we're going to put this here. We're going to have this sprite go to the bar. Same sprite every night. Then we're going to have this sprite sit by the door, and we're going to earn three more gold. We're so close to being able to buy something cool. Maybe maybe on the next round. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I think we can maybe buy our our our, our kitchen soon. Alright, so we have more here than we have here, which means that we go up by one on our renown track, which is exciting, and then all of these go back to the bag. All right, and that is the end of our fourth day of fall. All right, we are about halfway through. Uh, I think now's a good time to take a little drink of tea. I've got some tea here. I made that at the start of this video and forgot to drink it, so it's getting quite cold. <laughs> Oopsie. 
Uh, let's check out our weather for the next day here in Mythwind. All right, it is cloudy. Uh, so we actually have the opportunity here to gain a skill. Uh, however, I don't think I have any any way of gaining, like over here, the way she gains skills is with money. I don't have enough money and I don't have, um, I don't have enough of anything here. So I don't think we're gonna be gaining a skill today. Uh, oops. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, we have an event though, uh, and because it is cloudy, we wanna remember to plant because uh, Todd can actually plant twice if we plant on a cloudy day because of our skill. So let's see what our event is for the day first before we do anything else. This is Swamp Sprites. The Swamp Sprites aren't hard to find living near a large swamp at the valley's edge. They aren't too concerned about your group or the town either. Even as you speak to them, it feels as though they're ignoring you. You could try being nice and putting on a campfire party for the Swamp Sprites. You may put on a campfire and lose culture. Uh, shuffle in event 48 if you do, otherwise shuffle in uh, event 49. Yeah, let's, we have five culture. I'm happy to pay a culture um, in order to sh uh, shuffle in event 48. Set this card aside when you have resolved cards four through seven, which I think we have now actually. Card, this is card four, that was card five, six, seven. Okay, so we're gonna shuffle in events 48 and event eight. All right, so we'll have two new events here in the event deck. Let's give those a little shuffle. All right, perfect. Now let's see who's coming to the inn this evening. That's our next order of business. Now uh, we're in up here in number two, it is cloudy, so we're gonna have eight people. Whoa, <laughs> I'm a little stressed about that. Uh, oof, that's already two people that will complain if they don't get to sit. There's Todd. Todd comes every night. Todd is the best customer. I mean, Todd loves the inn. Listen, I knew Todd was going to like the inn. From the moment that I was like, let's build an inn, I knew Todd was all for it. Uh, all right, there's that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh my gosh. Ooh, this is a lot of people. It's a lot of people. The thing is, though, I want to definitely be able to take care of that person. I want to definitely be able to take care of that person, though I could sit some people by the window. And then, then there's this person. I almost, I mean, I definitely want to like build something and I definitely want to be able to, uh, I definitely want to be, be able to build something this turn. And then I'll use the sprites to sit them, uh, to pamper them. Um, all right. So now we have to figure out where we're going. I mean, Todd, I really want Todd to be able today to plant. So to do that, he needs to be able to do the sprite action. So I think what I'll do is I'll actually take him uh, to to go hire some sprites. How about that? We'll hire some sprites. Uh, and then that will ensure he can do the sprite action. And then maybe he can even plant three times. That could be exciting for Todd. That could be a very exciting day for Todd. We already have some sprites here. Uh, what does what does Veronica? What do, I almost said Veronica. What does Ruby want to be able to do? Ruby, what's the plan? What should we do, my friend? Uh, things are not looking great for being able to build the inn. That's for that's for sure. Here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we go on another adventure. <laughs> I know that's crazy, but like adventures, you know, have a chance of getting us something, and there's nothing else on the board that I really want right now. So I think it's an adventure for Ruby. Uh, so we already did Todd's day, like Todd's town action is done. So let's go on our adventure. Right place, right time. You find a ridge overlooking a waterfall where the light sparkles. Through the mist, a scarcely believable creature swoops overhead. A white winged fox dances in the sky, darting and looping before landing on a rock high up the falls. Ruby is ha Ruby's like actually on an adventure. Todd went on a date. <laughs> Ruby is on an adventure. It stares at you intently as its wings wrap around the body. Suddenly, it dives off the ledge and hurtles through the air towards you. Impact is inevitable until the wings unfurl at the last moment. It is completely unbothered as it swoops inches above your head. By the time you look again, the sky is clear. It is gone. So we can run back to town and tell everyone, or we can keep this as a special secret for ourselves. Um, oh man, I don't know what to do. Honestly, I feel like Ruby's probably pretty unbothered. She works at an inn, she hears stories all the time, and this thing like didn't attack her. It, it just like flew around, right? And she's, you know, she's just out here doing her own thing. She just saw something cool. I feel like if anything, she would tell people at the inn as a story, but I don't think she's running back to town to tell everybody. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep this as a special secret for myself, yeah. Your secret keeps a smile on your face and a spring in your step. The creature's radiance drives you to new heights today. A keeper sprite recognizes your enthusiasm. They follow you home to find out 
what it's about. Okay, that's kind of cool. Oh, so, and then we get to hire some sprites. All right, that's exciting. Uh, okay, cool. Well, that was a fun little adventure. All right, so back here we go. Uh, so over here, Todd definitely is going to plant some things today. So let's plant these beans first. And then because it's cloudy, he can actually plant a sec... I can't get this to go in here. Uh, second thing, uh, let's have him plant some potatoes as well. Have him plant those right here. And then maybe we have him plant... Oh, these are strawberries? This whole time we had strawberries sitting there? Oh, this is embarrassing. I didn't think we had strawberries. Let's also plant those strawberries then. Uh, so let's do that and let's put those like here. Oh, uh, and by the way, that third plant action was from my sprites. I forgot to actually use them. So there we go. Uh, okay, so then over here, we wow, we have lots of workers today. This is uh, exciting. I really do want to build something today though, but I wanted to build one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh man, I would need, I, mm, I would need to be able to, well, actually, I think I can make this work because I wanted to build a kitchen. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to pamper a guest. Uh, and that's where we're going to take one of our guests who we don't have anywhere else to put them. Uh, and they're going to go and they're going to sit at the table. So they're going to get, give us $1 like so. And then I think we might do that again with some sprites. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We're so close. Uh, so we'll bring these sprites in and we'll have them also do a pamper. So we'll get in one more, we'll get one more dollar from them. And then we'll use our last sprites in the improve spot in order to pay all 12 of these coins and we'll add a kitchen. I'm just gonna put the kitchen right in right there. And so now we have a kitchen. And now we have to host who we can host. So the kitchen can't actually host anybody. It, it's a kitchen. So in case you're wondering why, let's put this sprite at the door and then this sprite at the window. So then we do have all these sprites that unfortunately well, all these sprites and Todd, who unfortunately are not going to be able to be at the end tonight. Sorry, Todd. Oops. Um, but I think having that kitchen is going to be is going to be worth it. And then we can start working towards adding another, probably another table or another bar seem to come out a lot. Um, okay, so because unfortunately these are equal to these, I actually go down one renown. Oops. But I earn two more gold from from placing those two people. So it wasn't total bust. All right, so let's send everybody back to the bag now. I mean, I would love to upgrade a skill, this, uh, do a skill, but I would need two more straw, or one more strawberry, which is right here. So maybe I'll plant again. So let's move this here. Um, okay, so then let's see what our weather is for the next day. It is sunny out. Uh, let's see who's coming to visit the bar tonight. So there's Todd again. <laughs> every day. Todd's like, let me in. I think maybe I might send Todd here so that he gets an extra character action this turn. Um, yeah, yeah, so we'll pay three so he'll get an extra character action this turn. Why not? Um, and then we don't have any event today. Uh, Ruby, what are you doing today, Ruby? Your, your funds are looking rough, Ruby. <laughs> you cannot do, there's not a whole lot you're gonna be able to do. Ruby's going out on, listen, Ruby is seeing the town. Ruby goes out during the day, sees the world, and then comes home at night and hosts a big party at her inn every night. And I love that for her. All right, so let's see what adventure Ruby goes on today. Ruby just goes on an adventure every day. Like, what else has she got to do? She's running a successful business. She doesn't, she's not gonna go visit the tavern. That's, that's like the competition. She could, I mean, she could be working on something else, but like, it's her first season. She's just getting the business up and running, okay? A tale of two dogs. I also love that Ruby is just experiencing all of the animals of Mythland. <laughs> she's already got a cat, she's already got a chicken. Let's see if we can get Ruby a dog. Cutting across the prairie, you happen upon two puppies. One has a lolling tongue, boundless energy, and a friendly demeanor. The other is much more serious and has penetrating eyes. They appear lost, but when you approach, they back off in the opposite direction. You could probably catch one, but not both. Oh, interesting. So I can catch the smiling dog, catch the serious dog, or leave the dogs alone. I feel like, here's here's what I'm thinking. I feel like the happy dog is going to easily find a home, right? Like the happy dog, someone is going to adopt. Todd will adopt the dog. 
Chunk will adopt the dog, they'll adopt the dog together, they'll be dog dads. But the serious dog, I feel like, maybe is a little less easy to love. And I feel like Ruby, I feel like Ruby would adopt the serious dog, right? Like, she's, honestly, I think Ruby would take both if she can, but I guess they went in opposite directions. So, let's, let's catch the serious dog. Once you catch the serious dog, it eventually follows you back to town at a distance. She turns out to be a great do guard dog. Later in the evening, it scares off some raccoons that had been getting into the food supply. We gain one food. Look at this, we have three pets now. A chicken, a dog, and a cat. Another successful day for Ruby going out on adventures. Love that for her. I want Todd to do some, um, probably do a plant action. I also want to be able to tend some things though, but I need those those last strawberries, those last strawbers. So let's do a plant action and get this last bit of strawberries. And we'll just connect those to our strawberries that are already down here. Uh, like so, because they have to be connected. And then we will use this to, um, oh, and he gets two actions. That's right, I totally forgot that I did that. Okay, so he gets two character actions. So we did the plant action. Uh, and then let's do a let's do a tend action to flip one of the strawberries. Let's flip this one first, uh, like that. And then we'll use my last sprites to, that's terrible, to flip the other strawberries so that we now have those two. And then the only thing we really need to worry about now is uh, getting the potatoes up and running. And then we can possibly get a new, uh, a new skill, the harvester skill, which when it's sunny, lets us do an extra harvest. Well, that's exciting. Or the rancher skill. What does a rancher do? It lets us breed cows. Okay. We haven't gotten Sally a mate yet. So we're, we're, that, we're getting a little ahead of ourselves here. Okay. I totally forgot that I had to worry about this situation over here. <laughs> we, were, we were out collecting pets like Pokemon. Now we have to run this in. All right. Get serious. I think we're going to start here. We need to pamper somebody. Oh, this is, this already is going to be rough. We might need to pamper two people actually, because we don't have, we don't have two windows and we don't have two doors. <laughs> Whoops. Um, okay. Let's keep that one. Let's pamper this sprite and we'll put them at the table and we'll gain one. So that's her action. Then we'll use this sprite to do another pamper action. And we'll put this uh, sprite here at the um, uh, here at the bar. And we'll put um, we'll put this sprite here at the bar and we'll gain another coin. And then this gets rolled back into the town into the tower. Uh, and then we'll use this last sprite to uh, hmm. Oh, I can't use this. I need more of these cards. That's what I really need. I could do another pamper, but that's, I don't really need to. Maybe I'll save this last sprite. I think I might save that last sprite actually. Actually, yeah. So then if we're hosting guests, we're gonna put this one here and we're gonna put this one here. Yeah, we're gonna put them there. And so we get one, two coins from them. And then we also go up a renown because we have more people in the inn than we have off to the side of the inn. Good job, Ruby. A plus. I'm proud of you. So now we head into our next day. Let's refill this. I totally forgot that Todd could clear some of this land. I probably should have been working on that. Oops. Um, <laughs> it's fine. Let's see what our weather is like for the next day. It is raining again. Uh, which means that nothing is nothing for Todd, and it means that we'll be able to draw our full eight over here. So let's draw our eight. I feel like the last couple of days are going to be like all events because we've had very few events so far. Oh my gosh, eight people is a lot. <laughs> That's a lot of people. And we did not earn a lot of money that last round. So I don't know. We're not going to be able to do anything yet. I really would love for Todd to be able to do a skill, but we still need this potato. It's, maybe Todd will hire some workers so that we can make sure we get everything done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's hire some workers. So I'm going to hire these sprites. Ruby, my friend, you need money. Money is just, we need money. Like the inn just really needs money because everything is so expensive. How much are these? 10? Whoa. Why? But why? Do I send Ruby on another adventure? <laughs> Is it weird that that's all I've done with her? Why not? Let's live our best life. All right, Ruby, your next adventure. Here we go. On your travels, you hear a shaking. This is called Wounded Animal. 
Ruby is finding all the animals! On your travels, you are a shaking in a bush. Pulling the foliage back reveals a medium-sized furry animal unlike any you've ever seen. Large haunches suggest it's fast. Small horns suggest it'll defend itself. And alert eyes suggest some intelligence. Right now, though, one of its rear legs is wounded and it needs your help. I can mend the animal to the best of your ability, clean the wound, and bandage the leg. Or I can take it home because it looks delicious... One club to the head and it won't know any better. Okay, let, but let's be honest. I mean, I think in another life, Ruby might be the person to club it on the head because she's got an in, she needs to feed people. But the, at this point, she has so many pets, there's no way that she's going to, like, there's no way she's eating this animal. Like, she's she's going to take care of it and probably get another pet. Because if she gets enough of them, then she can start going to the Mythwin Pokemon League and competing with all of these creatures. So she's going to mend the animal. A nearby sprite spots your good deed. They tell all of your friends. Oh, okay. They tell all their friends. And then we get to upgrade the sprites at the tower. Okay, well, that was worth it. I didn't. I did not get a new pet, though. So sad. So we have a dog... Uh, we have a cat and we have a chicken. Okay. And I'm going to need names for all of those, by the way. So if you want to leave uh, names and for the inn. So, so far your assignments are, we need a name for the inn, a name for the chicken, a name for the cat, and a name for the dog. Got it? Okay, great. So over here, because it's raining, I definitely wanted to do some tending. So I'm going to tend to turn these over. And because it's raining, I get to also tend these over. So I get to do two. And then tomorrow I pr might try and get a skill. And that could be exciting. Uh, but then I think I'm going to sell, let me use these sprites that I have to sell. Oh, or I could get rid of some of this, but I think I'm going to sell because I think I'm going to sell. Ugh, the problem is which of these do I want? I can't get those yet. So I can either get, I can either get cows or I can get the harvest. I think I'm going to try and get the harvest action. So, um, I'm going to sell these beans for $5. So we have some more money. Look at you, Todd, $11. Ooh, somebody is somebody's gonna buy himself some fancy new overalls and Ruby I always forget that she has to do do all of this I come over here and I'm like what is she even doing this evening oh right running a business um okay Ruby my friend what are you doing with your life you have to take care of these three people okay and at least one of them at least one of them you're gonna have to do be sad with oh Todd could actually sit at the table possibly today Oh, that would be so exciting for Todd. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do the pamper action because at least one of these people needs to sit uh, at the bar. Um, so let's do that. So they're going to sit here and earn us one gold. Okay, and then we're going to use our sprites. Do we have enough to buy something? Oh, we only have seven. Boo, that's unfortunate. So I think I just will wait on my sprites for now. I also need to do this to get more cards. Uh, it's, it's rough in these streets. Okay, so let's, uh, Todd is going to get his table, because he complained enough that he gets his table back. Uh, we're going to set this sprite by the window. We're going to put this sprite at the door. Super. Uh, so then we get three gold for the three of them. So tomorrow we could build something in, in the tavern. That would be exciting. Uh, and then because of this, we go up one here. Now, there's something that you can do in the inn where you basically start to have like a, a sense, a fashion, like a, a design sense. I forget what it's called, but uh, it's basically where you have, if you have enough of certain types of design, your bar starts to have that kind of design sense. And then you can start adding other things to it. We unfortunately cannot go up in renown until we do that. Uh, so we are going to have to start adding some, some design type things to our uh, bar if they're to our inn if we hope to continue upping our renown, but that's okay. It's okay So everybody's gonna go back in here for now. Everybody's happy. Let's go to the next day It is sunny and we also get an event today. All right, so let's see what our event is. We're getting kind of low on events All right, this is unexpected help. It's been a while since you threw the campfire party for the swamp sprites Oh, I love that that story's continuing it was hard to tell what impression you made that night as they slumped off afterwards. The Swamp Sprites aren't the most social bunch, even by Sprite standards. However, some townsfolk are convinced that they started to see the occasional glimpse of mushroom-like creatures leaving useful items around town. They may be reclusive and shy, but you appear to have made some new friends. This turn, each character may take an additional town action. Your alignment will deter be determined by the first town action you take. That's very interesting, actually. Well, I think Todd, for sure, I want to earn him a skill. 
So I'm going to send him to the longhouse because I definitely want him to have a skill. And I want her to probably be able to add like a, how much do these cost? 15. Oh my gosh. And I kind of want to add a stage and that's 12. Maybe I hire some sprites. Maybe I hire these sprites. Maybe I just do it. Maybe, maybe that's what we do. Maybe that's what we do. So uh, Todd is going to earn a skill. So we're going to get this harvester skill. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and put that here. And to do that, he has to pay uh, one, fin one fully grown potato and two fully grown strawberries. So we're going to pay these uh, back to the bag to be able to get his third skill. Todd is Todd is a mover and a shaker. Now, oh, we get to take two two town actions. That is wild. I want them both to go on an adventure. <laughs> if I'm being completely honest. But maybe I'll have Todd hire. Did I use this last round? I think I must have. So this should have been back in here because I used that last one. I think last round. I, I, I could have messed that up. If I did, I apologize. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to send, we'll, we'll, we'll do Todd, we'll send Todd an adventure next, next, uh, the next day, tomorrow. Today we'll send him here and we'll have him hire some more sprites. So he's gonna pay uh, just two to hire these sprites. And then uh, Ruby is gonna go on an adventure. All right, so this is Natural Bay. From the top of the valley, people have been able to see the ocean nearby. No one has established an easily traversed path, but on this hike, you can hear rushing water and taste salt in the air. Making careful note of landmarks, you find your way to a protected bay. It is connected to the ocean and also fed by a waterfall. The sea life here is vibrant. Oh, <laughs> I just turned over the card. There's no choices, I just turned it over. When you return to town and tell of this idyllic spot, someone offers to build a wharf there. Add fishing grounds to the construction queue. Well, that's awesome. Fishing grounds. And they would go in the number one spot, but the number one spot is still full, so we'll put that there instead. We're gonna plant, uh, for sure, we're gonna plant. So let's plant some potatoes. Plant those potatoes there. And then I'll spend, uh, I'll put my sprites here and knock them down to two and I'll spend one to plant some more potatoes here. Uh, I think that's all that Todd is doing today. And then over here, um, this is <laughs> this is where it always gets complicated. First of all, I totally forgot to pull out people for the day. It's sunny. I'm supposed to have seven people out on the board. I just skipped over that. There was so much going on that my brain just was like, we don't need to worry about that. <laughs> don't even worry about that. Don't even worry about the people coming to visit your establishment. Don't even worry about the way that you make money. We're out here collecting pets and going on jolly adventures to see the ocean. So we have this, this is gonna help me decide. Actually, there's only one person who's gonna, who's gonna cause, a, cause a ruckus today. So, so far we have, there's our window, there's our bar. So we have those three taken care of, but if I wanted to sit another person, I could build another something. Uh, let's build. Oh, that's perfect. Let's build it. Let's build a window. Yeah, let's build another window. So we're going to use our eight. And we're going to build a window. So our action, the action I'm taking is the improve action, we're gonna put a window over here. Then I'm going to use my um, <clears throat> that actually worked out great. <laughs> because I messed something up. So I'm going to use one of my sprites to pamper them and that will get rid of this sprite. Oh, oh, okay. That works. Um, I'm going to, uh, except they have to be here. So I don't put, so I don't use them again, just in case, uh, to pamper them and put them here and gain $1. And then I could do something with this, but I'm just going to hold on to those sprites for now. So this can go away actually. And then we're going to host. So this sprite wants to be at the bar and we do have a kitchen. Um, Todd wants there to be a kitchen and the table. This sprite wants to sit by the window and this sprite wants to sit by the door. And just like that, we're gonna earn four. I'm just gonna make change with this so we have five. Uh, and then we have more. Now we can't move up, unfortunately, because we haven't earned any design points yet. So, but honestly, that's a pretty good day for the inn. The inn is starting to, to chug along. We're getting some things done. Okay, let's head into our next day. And this is actually our last day of fall and it is cloudy. Okay, and we do also have an event today. So we're gonna do the event first. Uh, we also get a free um, sell action, uh, which actually might be good because I might use it to get rid of some of this garbage that's all, all about the place. So let me do that really quick. I'm gonna spend four to get rid of uh, this, to get that out of there so we have more land. 
Uh, trusts earned. Punk, the sprite who got trapped under the wood pile, beckons your group to follow them into the forest again. Come long, promise not to run. When you arrive at the clearing, there is bubbling cheer as dozens of sprites welcome you and a celebration begins. Oh my god, the sprites are welcoming us in. This is a big deal. The evening is spent talking and laughing. Fix leans forward and says, You see, these sprites have made up their minds. You're all good to us. She often points into the distance where the tower glows dimly. The tower will start showing its approval soon. What does that mean? Shuffle in events 9, 42, and 128. Shuffle adventure cards 21 through 30 into the adventure deck. Now we have more adventures to be had. All right. And then <gasps> open secret envelope number one. What? This is very exciting. Hold on. Hold on. Hold, hold on. Okay. I want to preface something. So obviously, if you don't want this spoiled for you, I, I will not feel bad about you leaving because I, if you don't want to see this, you don't want to see this if you're planning to play the game. But if you want to stay, this is your warning, okay? This this is it. I'm going to open this and we're going to spoil it. The other thing I want to mention is that some of the expansions require you to add things in after opening envelope one. I am not going to do that until the end of the season and after, uh, after the camera stops running because I don't think you need to sit here and watch me shuffle through a bunch of cards and figure out what goes where. Like, that's not fun for you. <laughs> so I will do that off camera, but just know that there's a whole bunch of stuff that's going to get added to these decks because we're opening envelope one. All right, you've been warned. Spoilers incoming. This is envelope one. It's sealed. I already ripped it. I already... Oh, come on. Can I please... Is there... Oh. Well, I destroyed envelope one. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Hold on. What do we do? What do we do? What? What? What do? You, what do we do? What's the procedure? Okay, so I'm assuming this. Wait, do I? Oh, I bet I read these. Hold on. <laughs> I'm so excited. I don't know what to do with myself. Tower upgrade. As Fix promised, the tower gave back to the community in an unexpected way. Later in the evening, the dim glow of the tower flashed brightly. The ground appeared to have lightning flash through it. What? Once the tower returned to a dim glow, it seemed to be over with one exception. Everyone felt a strong spirit of generosity. The enthusiasm to help each other build a collective home had never been higher. Shuffle events 56 to 57 into the event deck. And then we have to add the tower upgrade number two to this space. Oh, so this piece is actually swapping out. So now... <clears throat> This is going here. Every time you use that space, you will earn one of the following benefits. So gain a coin for each culture and food level used to construct a building. Oh, so when we go there and we construct, we gain a point for each of the a, co a coin for each of those that we use to construct a building. That's really cool. Pretty awesome. All right, now here's spirits. Fix has been around town pretty much since your group settled here, but her presence has really stepped up recently. Additionally, book, 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 book. I'm going to call him Book, has been here, uh, has been more present as well. The villagers generally appreciate their presence, and it has a positive effect on the other sprites who are helping in town as well. This envelope includes a new weather card. Shuffle it in with the weather deck that is already in play, which means we're going to have an extra day. Um, place fix in the sprite action space. Which one is, oh, it says on them. Okay, there's fix. When the sprite effect comes up on the weather card included in this envelope, replace fix with the next sprite in numerical order, book. A character can use a hired sprite to go to the sprite action space during the town action step to perform the ability offered by the sprite who is there at the time. Fix lets us spend one coin to hire a villager. Does it show that on here? Oh, it does. So that's his ability. Spent... And Book lets us spend one coin to hire a sprite. Interesting. Okay. Now, I will mention, because I have the expansion, I actually have some little miniatures for those. Okay, so these are the sprite miniatures. Look at how cute they are. Okay, so who's here right now? This is this is Fix, uh, and Fix looks like this. So we're just going to sit him here, and I'll put his little, icon, his little token here so we remember what he does. And then the other one, Book, this is this guy. So we'll just pull him out so he's here as well, so he can join the party. Oh, I love that. Okay, fun. Okay, so now we have to like get on with our day. How do we get on with our day after that? That was so exciting. So maybe I'll just hire workers the normal way by going here and using this and then I just get two. And Todd, we're gonna send Todd on an adventure. We pro I promised Todd he'd get an adventure today, so let's do it. Fire! <laughs>
<laughs> of course, Todd is going to have a rough day. A shout jerks you out of your reverie as you hike. Fire! Fortunately, you're not far out of town, so you hustle back down the road to find a building ablaze. Villagers and sprites alike are panicking. You must act fast. Flick a sprite die from flick a sprite die from the supply. If it lands on a place on the town board with water, keep track of how many pips you got. Do this three times. As long as the die is touching water at all, count the pips. So basically, I have to flick a die and try to hit water. So, sir, move out of the way. Let's see. Uh. Okay, so that's on water. We get two pips. Okay. That did not hit water. So we have two pips so far. So now we have to we have to do it our third time. Oh, two more. Okay, so we got four total. Okay, four. Four pips. Four pips. <laughs> Whew. Okay, so four. Four plus. Success. You have averted any major damage to the village. Uh, Hamish pays you a reward. Gain five dollars. All right. What a great day. I mean, there was a fire. It was, it was, it was a very sad day. Somebody probably burned in that. But uh, other than that, it was good. We, we got rid of the fire. Good for us. Look at that. It's cloudy, uh, which means I should probably try to plant some things because uh, then I can plant two things. So let's plant, uh, let's plant some beans for free. And then actually I'll pay for my second plant. I'll plant some more beans. A little bean party. Look at that. Uh, and then I probably want to use my workers to tend. Go down to one. Uh, but we can only tend once, so we'll just tend these potatoes. Like so. Okay, so what I wanted to do, and I have to do one of these actions, is I wanted to do this uh, this mingle action. Now, normally that would mean taking a gossip card and putting it into the adventure deck, but I don't have any gossip cards, so that just means that I'm going to get to draw two and have them back in my hand. So that is the action that I'm taking with her. We'll use these workers to pamper somebody. So we will send somebody to the extra window, get a coin from that. And then we will start putting people where they're supposed to go. So that sprite's going to go by the window. This sprite's going to go to the table. This one will go by the door. And this one will go to the bar. And then we're going to go one down on our renown today, which is fine. And then that's the day. So let's put everybody back in here. And then we actually have one more day uh, because of that weather card that got added. So let's do that really quick. Last day. Now it's officially the last day of, of the old year. So this card is going to make it sunny, and it is going to change this to this, uh, to Book, and he has a different action, so we'll put that there. I think Todd will go here, and he'll hire this worker, and then I think Ruby's going to go on one last adventure. Finish out the year with one last adventure. What do we say? All right, this is Sunken Cove. Lounging by the seaside, you spot a grotto partially submerged in the tide. Exploring it, you see a scattered pile of goods. Looks like someone's packed uh, someone's pack washed up here. There's also a submerged tunnel nearby. You could swim it, but the tide is rising. Search for the goods and leave with your findings before the tide comes in, or push your luck and swim into the submerged tunnel. I don't think I don't think Ruby's swimming into a submerged tunnel. Ruby's not pushing her luck like that. Are you kidding? I wouldn't do it. I'm scared of water. I wouldn't do it. Okay, we're just going to search for the goods and leave with your findings before the tide comes. I think that sounds good. Okay. You find some goodies and escape well ahead of the tide. Gain three gold. Uh, it looks like I made the right choice because the other option looks terrible. Um, okay, great. So now uh, she's going to have to do a, a villager action. Uh, Todd is also going to have to do a villager action. So let's do that. Um, I think I might have Todd... Oh, that's unfortunate, because I don't want him to do that just yet. Oh, actually, no, he could. Oh, or we could buy a second cow. Oh, wait. I think we're going to buy a second cow. You guys, I know what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use the cow action to buy a new cow. Okay? First things first. So now we also need a name for this new cow. But when you do this, you can also move cows. Move cows! So I'm going to move the cow to here, so the two cows are beside each other. And then I'm going to breed the cows so we get a third cow. Wow. We just had a we just had a little cow party. And now we have a baby cow. So now we have three cows. Sally, Sally's Sally's boyfriend. Um, they're not serious. Sally's still allowed to date around in the cow pool. Uh, and then Sally's child. 
excitement. Oh, what a day. Okay. And then the next thing we're going to do. So the, the camera stopped recording. So I, I don't really know exactly where we are. But just in case you missed it, I bought this device. I don't understand farming enough to know what that is called. And we placed it here. So what that means is now we're able to um, basically plant... If we plant there, we can plant a second thing, which is really cool. All right, and then we have one more sprite action here. I'm actually just going to use it to go here uh, to sell these potatoes uh, for, and the, then both of these are going to get used up um, for $4. The camera stopped working, and then I realized that the battery was almost dead. So it's been, it's, there's been a lot happening, okay? You know what I think I'll do? I think I will do this action, the mingle action, and I actually will, like, shuffle this, um, this card into the adventure deck and then draw a new gossip card. I think that's maybe a good option since I since I can't do anything else with that. Um, and then I think what we're to do is we'll use our workers just to pamper at least one person to put them by one of our windows. Uh, so we'll put them here. Yeah, uh, to get one coin. So it'll bring us very close. So next time we should be able to do that. Uh, then we'll put this person at the door. We'll put Todd at his table. Todd came for the last day for his table. And then we'll put this sprite at the bar. Uh, so that gets us another three coins. So we'll definitely be able to uh, do that tomorrow. And then, so this is done. We can't, we do go up one on our renown track. Uh, and that is the end of the day. So Todd had a pretty good season. Fall was great for him. We made some money. I mean, we only have four right now, but we did buy, we did get two more cows. We got a new piece of farming equipment. We got a new skill. We got a new man. I mean, Todd and Chunk, 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 Todd and Chunk are, things are moving along. Great. They found a private spot. That was great for them. Ruby's Inn is like up and running. I'm really enjoying the innkeeper. Like this is a lot of fun and it's a lot of fun to like kind of manage this to like slowly make money and slowly add elements to it. Honestly, the innkeeper and the farmer feel very similar to me. Like they're all about like adding things to make a little bit of money to upgrade something to then be able to add a little more things. Like they have this like nice gameplay loop and I really like that. I liked the crafter a lot too, um, but, but I like that these two kind of have a similar feel. The crafter and the farmer were very different. So like changing between them was a little crazy though though I like the crafter has a very cool puzzle going on as well um so that is the end of our season we have some pretty good money for ruby so next time we'll be able to like fill in her uh we'll be able to start buying some more stuff for her in so that's really cool and oh we do need to over here I do have to um roll a sprite dice to see oh and we don't have to add this back on so that's exciting so we have a little more farming space over here the one thing that we will do character upkeep wise which i won't do on camera necessarily is for ruby we're going to add in new villagers to her bag so basically because we're on the two actually i can show you it's super easy because we're on the two we're putting all the level one back in here but we're also going to add all the level two characters uh, that can visit into the bag as well. So now we'll have more people that can visit, which is really cool, but they'll also probably have more things that they want. We got some new sprites. So we have this new ability to use the sprites to do really cool things here that will switch out throughout the game. So overall, a really good play session. Now I will tell you, uh, I already told you I need names for everything. So feel free to comment those names. Um, make sure of course to like and subscribe if you wanna keep seeing this. My current plan is to end our Mythwin series after episode four, because that would take us through our entire first year. Um, that's kind of the plan right now. I am not sure which characters I should play for that. I'm considering playing Todd and Ruby again, or I could play like Ruby and Veronica. I could bring in a new character to play. I could try and play all three, though that might get a little crazy and it would be a very long video because uh, I feel like playing two characters already makes the video very long. Um, and I am going to be adding in all of that stuff from those expansions that gets added in after we open up the first envelope. So I'll be doing that too. So let me know what you're feeling, how you're feeling for episode four. My thoughts are that if we finish with episode four, then we can move on and try a different game together. Uh, and some other games too, I think would be really fun to do solo playthroughs of. Uh, and I do have another campaign game in mind. I have two campaign games in mind, actually, that I'm really interested in trying uh, and making videos for you about. So we could try those as well. So let me know how you feel about all of that, which characters you like to see, and what you're hoping to to see in our final season in winter. Uh, and of course, let me know what you thought of this play session, how you feel about Todd and Ruby's journey, how you feel about how they're playing. Feel free to let me know any questions you have. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have an excellent rest of your day.